another Wombat Magic Workshop, and we've got some great magic for you today. I'm joined by a lot of friends right here, and what we're going to do is some magic with handkerchiefs. Now, even magicians have to use hankies sometimes, and that's what we're going to do here. Peter, I want you to help me. Is that all right? Yes. You don't mind? No. Okay. Well, I've got, I have a yellow handkerchief, as you can all see, and I've also got two purple ones. Now, the thing with the purple ones is that I've tied them together in the middle, and with those two, I am going to take the ends and I'm going to just push them down your shirt, if you don't mind. All right? It's just like having lunch, isn't it, hey? So don't dribble anything over there, okay? Now, what we're going to do is this. This yellow handkerchief, I'm going to do something a little different with, and I'm going to roll it up in a ball. All right? Now, magicians are supposed to be able to make things appear and disappear at a moment's notice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a little ball, and if you come with me, right behind me, I have... A balloon. All right, now all of you have to watch this. Do you remember what the magic words are? I'll give you a hint. Starts with abracadabra. All right? I've got a balloon here, and I'm going to put our little yellow silk right in the front. Now, what we're going to endeavor to do is to try and make the silk disappear. Now, here's where you have to use the magic words. You know what they are? Abracadabra. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, three. Abracadabra. Well, what do you know? The yellow silk is gone. The handkerchief is gone, the balloon's turned into a dove, and you're probably wondering just where the handkerchief is. Well, do you want to know? Peter, you stay right there for a moment because let the boys and girls have a look at your purple handkerchief here. Let's give it a pull because right in between the two is the yellow silk. There's no doubt about it. Now, we've got more magic coming up to do with handkerchiefs and things, and I think you're going to show us a magic trick yourself. All right, so don't forget presentation is important. Speak loud so all the boys and girls can hear you as well as everyone at home. All right? It's all yours. Tell me, what are you going to do? Okay, well here I have a cardboard cylinder which is, which has nothing in it. Show me. It does. It has an eyeball. I can see it. It's in the other end there. Oh, that's yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Apart from the eyeball, it's empty. Yes. And now I'm going to say the magic words. Abracadabra. Hey, the same words I <gasps> Where did you get that from? Hey, I know, Magic. I know, I know. That's fabulous. That's actually, that's very good. Now, don't forget, though, when you're doing something like that, straight back up, mm -hmm. all right, and look through and make sure that everybody can see that that is empty, because it is empty. So you make sure that you let everybody see. Now, I hope you saw that it was empty at home, and take my word for it, it really was. Now, who wants to learn a magic trick? Hey, do you want to learn one? Yeah. Trent. Here's what I want you to do. I have a handkerchief here, a big red one, a beautiful one. Now, all I want you to do is take one end, all right? Now take the upper end, and I want you to tie a knot in it. Nah, there's a secret. You're not allowed to let go of either end. I'll do it. Tie a knot without letting go of either end. No, 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 no. You can't let go of your hands. Oh, it's hard. It's hard, yeah, I know it's hard. It's impossible. It's, well, it's not impossible. It just takes a little bit of ingenuity. Do you know how? Yep. All right, well, for those who don't know how, including you at home, it's really easy. All you need to do is get a handkerchief. It doesn't have to be a red one. It can be any size. Roll it round like that so it makes it almost like a, a pole, flexible pole. Put it down, and now here's the secret. Cross your arms like that. Pick one end up there, reach through with the other hand to grab the other end so you're like that, and then just bring your hands back out again, and you've got a knot in it. Hey, <laughs> That's great. And you can try it at home, don't forget. Just get a handkerchief. Remember, cross your arms, grab it, pull it through, and you've done the impossible. You've formed a knot without actually letting go. So make sure you try that at home.